Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Friday the 14th of May 2021. I hope you've noticed that my bee stings are going down and I'll soon be completely back to normal. I hope you've got your Bible here today, uh, ready to read God's Word, and I hope you've also got the video remote uh, so that you can pause me while you do that uh, for this service. Today, the 14th of May, is St. Matthias Day, but we're not going to be doing the readings for that because we are focusing uh, on the main reading about St. Matthias on Sunday as part of our Sunday after Ascension Day service. So let's ask God into our hearts. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The hymn that Stephen has chosen for us today out of the Sing Praise hymn book uh, is by John Bell, uh, and it's a setting of Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Clap your hands, all you nations. Amen, alleluia. Shout for joy, all you The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And the psalms which are set for today are Psalms 81 and 20, with a preference for Psalm 81 if you've only time to study one of them. Uh, so here's a sung setting of Psalm 81. God, you 
Christmas news is told you. Open wide your mouth and wait, I will satisfy you. Follow me and celebrate, nothing then will tie you. But my people would not hear, would not give obedience, went astray, would not stay near, live by mirror mediums. So I gave them up at last to their own devices, from my tender care they passed into myriad cries. If my people would return, hear my ways and follow, they would see my deep concern, find their fears were hollow. I would set them on their feet, heal their stricken nation, feed them with the finest wheat, give them my salvation. And you might like to pause and consider both of those psalms at greater length in your own Bible. The Old Testament reading today is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and the lectionary has chosen verses 2 to 15 for us to read. Although you can of course read the whole thing if you're trying to read through the whole Bible. Well, when I read that, I thought somebody needs to write a, a version of My Eyes Have Seen the Glory of the Coming of the Lord, uh, especially to bring out the meanings of some of these verses. But I'm afraid I haven't risen to that challenge uh, at the moment. Uh, but uh, the end verse caught my mind. Uh, verse 29, the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and our children forever. A motto for a scientist. And I think there is above the Cavendish in labor laboratory in Cambridge, uh, a verse such as that, uh, which reminds us that seeking out the way God makes the world work is part of our role uh, as people uh, of his discipleship. The New Testament reading uh, is in Galatians chapter 5. There's a special set of readings for the period between Ascension and Pentecost, uh, and this is one of them uh, which is designed to try and help us think about what it means to live in the Spirit. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. So here's a song that I wrote very early in my songwriting days when I was trying to put into uh, words uh, some uh, of that Bible teaching. Not just the list of the gifts of the Spirit uh, and not just the positive things about the Spirit, how he makes us feel but rather about the battle uh, within ourselves which the Spirit helps us to fight and to win. We live by the Spirit, O oh Holy Spirit, come fill us. We walk by the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ within. The natural state of our sinful flesh means we can't do the good we desire. But when Jesus enters, he brings refreshment and fills us with holy fire. We live by the Spirit, O oh, Holy Spirit, come fill us. We walk by the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ within. The Spirit of Jesus has set us free from the law which imprisons the soul. And we will resist bonds of slavery as he heals us and makes us whole. We live by the Spirit, O oh, Holy Spirit come fill us. We walk by the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ within. 
A man's sinful nature will end in hate, for his acts lead to sin her touch shame. The Spirit makes war on our sinful state and transforms us who bear Christ's name. We live by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit come fill us. We walk by the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ within. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace and the virtues that bring self-control. And as we continue to seek release through our Saviour, we reach our goal. We live by the Spirit, O Holy Spirit, come fill us. We walk by the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ within. And so let's turn to pray. Heavenly Father, we give you our thanks uh, that you can be with us forever. We pray that you would help us to appreciate your presence in our lives. Turn us to you with rejoicing uh, in this season of ascension, that we may know your risen power and your ability to sort things out. But also turn us to you in resolution and faith as we consider the covenant which you uh, gave to your people of old and which you still hold out to us that we might be your people and you be our God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father we pray that you would help us to know what it might mean to live by your spirit. Help us to make a constant act of inviting him into our lives day by day. Help us to consider how we can submit ourselves to your guidance by the Spirit and help us to find his power to help us in our times of need. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, on this Messiah's day we remember that there will always be need of new people to step up when one of your disciples falls away. Help us to be eager to take on the new things which you are laying before us, to be witnesses of you, and to help other people to come to know you better. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause the video and put before God the things on your own heart at the moment. The Collect, the special prayer for this time between Ascension and Pentecost. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before. Amen. And let's pray the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so as we claim to walk by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit today.